Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. I am apparently a retired professional Mona. <clears throat> I also have the honour of being the chairman of the Firefighters Memorial Trust, whose primary objective is to honour and make memorial to our fallen colleagues in the United Kingdom. Firstly, I wish to offer my respects and congratulations to the Fire Brigade Union on their centennial anniversary. And I thank your General Secretary, Matt Brack, for inviting me here today. Thank you. Earlier today, wreaths were laid at the UK's Firefighters Memorial, adjacent to St Paul's Cathedral. That monument your monument has the names of 2,500 firefighters who have given their lives on duty serving their communities. It has long been my view that those who also undertake important roles within the fire and rescue service should have an opportunity to be both heard and involved with the decisions of the Firefighters Memorial Trust. To this end, I invited the Fire Brigade Union to put forward a candidate to be a trustee. I was most pleased to have appointed Dave Green into the role of trustee of the Firefighters Memorial Trust. The Fire Brigade Union have clearly demonstrated their commitment in supporting the work of the Firefighters Memorial Trust, not least by the 100 lottery awards <clears throat> which have been made. Every Fire Brigade Union member can be justifiably proud of the leadership of the Fire Brigade Union in their valued support of honouring our fallen colleagues. We all owe it to our fallen colleagues and their families to ensure we never forget their sacrifices. Fire does not distinguish between men, women, or children, race, religion, or creed, and neither do firefighters. They answer the call and do their duty, and some make the ultimate sacrifice. Every year when we have our annual service at the monument outside St Paul's, something happens. And some years ago, the widow of a firefighter and a little five-year-old daughter went up to the monument to lay a reef in memory. The mother and the daughter kissed their fingers and touched the name of the husband and the father. Many of us I've seen some pretty tragic, horrific things in our careers. There wasn't one of us there that day. They didn't have a, a lump in the throat, at least, if not a tear in the eye, I can assure you. Last year, the Trust brought into being memorial medals and certificates. And we were invited to conduct the ceremony at Lambeth Palace. And up came this delightful, beautiful young teenage girl this was the same one that I saw touching her father's name those years before. Again, a tear in her eye, and if I'm honest, I think a lump in my throat, as well as a tear. What I know that meant to that family and all the other families, I can assure you, can only happen with the support that the trust gets, particularly from the Fire Brigade Union in these past times. Thank you. 
For those of you who may wish to, please join me in reading the firefighter's prayer. <clears throat> when I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it's too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert, to hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to feel my calling and to give the best in me to guard my neighbour and protect his property. And if according to your will, I will have to lose my life. Bless with your protecting hand my loving family from strife. Thank you.